So this book is titled Making a Bird. Paula Predictor thinks it might be a book about how to make a bird. She notices that there's a boy here putting some pieces together and some scissors cutting. And so she thinks maybe we're going to learn how to make a bird. So let's do a picture walk and see if Paula Predictor is correct. Oh, look, they have labels like we do in our writing. Beak, eye, wing, tail. Hmm, Paula Predictor is thinking that she might be correct. These words say fold here. Looks like they took a circle and they folded it in half. What is he drawing here? And looks like she's cutting out something or he. It looks like it's an eye. And remember what that was? And what this is? It's a cute bird. So Paula Predictor was correct. She made a great prediction that we're going to learn how to make a bird. That might be something fun you can do when you finish the book. Right now, you are going to be like Clara Clarifier. You're going to look pointing under the words and looking at the pictures and trying to read Making a Bird by Yourself. When you are finished, push the um, stop the pause and I will read the book with you. You might need a little bit of help and that is fine. So try by yourself, pause the video, and then come back and read with me. Welcome back. Let's read Making a Bird together. I would like you to point under the words. I am not going to because the timing of the video is off. So you point under the words in your book and read with me. Making a bird. Making a bird. Beak, eye, wing, tail. Fold here. Here is the wing. Oops, I skipped a page, sorry. Oh, maybe I didn't. Here is the eye. The eye goes here. Here is the beak. The beak goes here. Here is the tail. The tail goes here. Here is the bird. The word go, our snap word, is in our book, isn't it? The word here is goes, but you can see the word go inside. All right, I would like you to practice reading this book several more times, and if you would like to try to use it to make a bird, that would be really fun. Have fun reading.